Welcome to the Sarah Fit Show. I'm Sarah Duso, and today I'm sharing with you my home gym essentials. So if you have a resolution to get fit this new year and you hate the gym, don't have the money for the gym, don't want to go to the gym, that's not an excuse not to stick to your resolution. Uh, there are a few inexpensive items that you can buy to create a complete home gym. No cardio equipment required. You still get a cardio workout, but you don't need to actually buy an elliptical or even a treadmill to get in your cardio at home. The first one is a kettlebell. Now, why a kettlebell than a regular hand weight? Well, a kettlebell also can serve as your cardio. There are certain moves like kettlebell swings or get-ups with the kettlebell that can really get your heart rate pumped up pretty high. So kettlebells are kind of new, and this one I got at City Sports. It's the Bob Harper version. Um, as you guys know, Bob's from uh, The Biggest Loser. Instead of having this as a bell, it actually has a little groove for your hand. So when you kind of hold it like this and push up, you guys know that favorite move, do it into our shoulder, uh, you actually don't have the hard bulk on your wrist. And also, if you have a City Sports near you, you get a free Bob Harper kettlebell DVD to learn how to actually use it. Next, I have a resistance band with handles. So obviously this is not as intense as the kettlebell, it's much lighter, but you can use this for bicep curls. You can use it. <laughs> that was embarrassing. And you can use it for a lot of different things. We've got a lot of different ways you can use resistance bands with handles in my videos and the ones on diet.com. Uh, next, we have a physio ball. Physio balls are awesome to do your abs. They're also great to kind of put your feet on when you do planks or when you do push-ups. They're an amazing stability piece of equipment that really can help work your entire body. So if you have weights, you can do a chest press, put this on your uh, upper back, and squeeze your glutes and lift them on up. So these balls also allow you to work more into your abs, your lower and upper, uh, without really putting too much strain on your neck. The next home gym essential is hand weights. This is an eight pounder. I recommend getting five, eight, or 10 pounds. Uh, you can use them to do pretty much most fitness DVDs or on demand fitness videos or my videos. A lot of them require some hand weights. And why not? You can do some bicep curls while you're watching your favorite TV show. And the last piece of equipment that you wanna have if you're trying to create a complete home gym is a foam roller. Foam rollers are amazing for anyone that might have some alignment issues or you find that you have really tight muscles. Foam rollers help prevent injuries by increasing your flexibility and kind of working out the knots in your legs. The first time you use it, it's going to be pretty painful, um, but I promise you that will be the worst it ever feels because basically you're giving yourself a deep tissue massage and you're working out all that scar tissue in your legs, allowing them to work as they should to their uh, maximum capacity. Also, the foam roller is great to stretch before and after a workout. It's probably the best stretching tool. And so those are my five items that you should have for your home gym. Obviously, you don't need all five, but if you want a complete gym, that's what you should get. That's all I've got for you. Check out my other fun home gym essentials that I've got going on in my own home studio. And you can watch that video right there. Look at it. Looks so fun. Anyway, make sure that you sign up for my Get Fit Challenge in 2011 to win a polar heart rate monitor. I'm obsessed with mine. I don't know how I ever trained without it. Seriously. I'm Sarah, and I'll see you guys all really soon. Bye.